Now in order to, to avoid that black screen, once you just start your laptop or computer, if you want to avoid that black screen, This is what you do. You have to download a file. I will provide this link right here. It's on howtogeek.com, but I will provide this link in the video description. And you just download this zip file. And since I already downloaded it, I don't need to save it or open it. I already downloaded it. I'll just download it again. Double click it, open, you install the ownership by double clicking and it's already run as an administrator as you can see this logo right here and you hit continue once you hit continue it says this do you want to add it to your registry well i already have so you say yes after you do that you had to start and restart the os system and once you do that you'll notice something different if you don't ha already have this like for example you could right click and take ownership now the reason for this go to c drive Windows System32 under ENUS. Remember that file we say? It's called winload.exe.mui. Remember where I saved it? Wherever you saved it, I saved it under my custom folder, which is right here. Now, if you already have to take ownership by right clicking on it, yes, after you, that's after you restart. Okay, since I already made a backup, which is right here. This is my backup of the original boot screen of the Vista loading bar. So what you want to do, if you want to leave it permanently instead of having a black screen when you start your computer from no power, you want to right click, take ownership. You want to hit continue. Now what this does, you could actually take out the file, put it on to the desktop, and you would hit continue. But since I've already done so, I'm going to hit cancel. And once you do that, you would put your customize here. Once you take ownership, put it to desktop. I'm just showing this as an example. And I would put my own customize right here. It's this when it pops up on the boot screen. Now that's how you change your Windows boot screen. Doing it permanently. You could actually change all the file icons. But I've done that with object doc already. So I don't need to do that. Now if you have a problem, if, if something happens with this file right here. Under Windows System32 EN-US folder. Your Vista will act glitchy. Now the best solution for this. I will provide the link in the video description at vistaheads.com. You would have to go through, restart the computer and enter through safe mode, which is right here, by pressing F8 before Windows starts on the Windows, lo before the Windows logo shows up during the boot up. After that, you would, after you're in safe mode, go to start, type in CMD in the search and right click on command prompt, run it as administrator. Hit continue. After you do that, you would have to type SFC. And remember, this has to be in safe mode. I'm just showing you this as an example. Scan now. That's if you lost this file under Windows System 32 forward slash EN dash US. Because Windows will act glitchy if it does not have that file. So after you hit enter, it will do its thing. It will fix, it will put the Windows boot screen back in default mode. It will put the loading bar, bar back in default. It even put the log on screen back to default. So I'm not going to do it because it happened to me. If that's if you have corrupt Windows files, then press enter and computer will fix itself. This is called the system file checker tool. It will fix any corrupt or missing file. If you like this wallpaper running in the background, and if you'd like more of this dream scene wall ones in the background, this water, this animated water, or the falling leaves, I don't know, whatever you prefer, Bear in mind this only works on Vista Home Premium or Vista Ultimate. Put any dream scene you like. And with all the videos I have right here, I will provide a link to MegaUpload.com. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, and I'm out.